Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today we're going to be looking at my um, gaming, Twitch, streaming, editing setup. Uh, I looked through my channel and it's actually been like four years since I've done one of these. Four years. Okay. Uh, not that I was like trying to avoid doing this or anything. It's just like I just didn't really think about it. So yeah, we'll just... Uh, We'll look through the setup here. Um, not much has changed, I guess, as far as like... Well, maybe. I don't know. Um, I just use like kind of different stuff now, I guess. But yeah, we'll just take a look at it right now. Okay, so... Uh, over here, this was the same BenQ monitor that I had uh, in the other video. It's a 24 inch uh, BenQ. Uh, 144 Hertz, I believe. It's Z, BenQ Z something. I don't remember um, actually any of the model numbers to any of these monitors. <laughs> this is an Alienware 240 Hertz. I have Cyberpunk loaded up. I am absolutely excited to check this game out. Uh, I got the PS5 here that I luckily got one. Wouldn't. Um, when was that, Dan? Like what, July that I got to pick this up? I, I made it a point to like try to hurry up and get one before the holiday season and yeah, I got lucky. So that's cool. Um, got Street Fighter here, a uh, game that I absolutely love. And something that probably gets more attention uh, than any other video uh, on, this, on this channel is my uh, Canva Obsidian uh, hitbox, butt box, uh, arcade controller that I use for Street Fighter. Uh, but I have separate videos for that on my channel. I've been showing you guys like a lot of uh, snowboard videos lately, so I thought I might switch it up and like show you guys uh, something a little different. Uh, which I say in those snowboard videos that you know uh, it's. Not that I, you have to be snowboarding or whatever to make content on your YouTube channel or live like some sort of extreme life. So I'm just showing you guys like a different side of like how, what I do outside of like snowboarding or if there's any main focus I do have on this channel, it would be like towards like cameras and vlogging and stuff. Cause I just like seeing what other people are up to and what other people are using. So if you guys have like any questions about cameras, like what I use, which lately I've been using a GoPro Hero 10 the most, which there's videos of that on my channel. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just ask. So yeah, we'll get back to the setup here. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this all in one take. Uh, so I don't wanna cut anything. I just wanted to make this video because it's been that long. Uh, I got, I use uh, Logitech G Pro mouse and keyboard, wireless. I don't think I'll ever go back to having a wired mouse. This is also uh, a G Pro. And a Cyber Power PC, uh, which is kind of the same as from the last video, except for I put a uh, EVGA RTX 2060 Super in there. So that's kind of nice and I got the Elgato capture card for when I'm capturing gameplay uh, for Twitch or for videos or whatever and I did swap out the RAM for 32 gigs of RAM uh, DDR4 um, the webcam is a Logitech Brio so that was a little different from the last video and I still use this Kinevo HDMI switch but I only have the uh, PS4 hooked up to it right now, or PS5, I'm sorry, uh, hooked up to it right now. My PS4 is over there, and so is my Nintendo Switch dock uh, that's over there. And speaking of Nintendo Switch, this is the uh, Nintendo Switch OLED with the uh, Satisfy grip on there, which is pretty nice. and. This lamp here is just a lamp with uh, the Philips Hue lights in there, light bulb. It's from Tommins. It's a pretty cool lamp. It's kind of like the Pixar 
kind of lamp thing, and here's just another monitor that I kind of don't need, really, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, it's just got my Discord, and when I stream on Twitch, like, I have that open to, like, see chat and all that stuff, too, but you only really need, like, two monitors, I think. Maybe even if that. One is just fine. Um, oh, and that is my Focusrite uh, 8i... Or 8i6, there's that's what it says right there, and that's what's um, my audio interface. It's kind of powering my Sure SM7B, but if you look back behind the Red Bull cans, there's the cloud lifter for it there uh, to boost this mic, and also you have to like turn on the phantom power to to get the mic to register, you see that? Like now the mic's is registering with the, the green light, so. And it's on a blue microphone arm. It's not the color blue, it's the company blue. I like this arm because it's it's really strong actually. Like if you have kind of a light mic, it just like lifts up your mic or your setup. Uh, anyway, um, the thing I like about this is that when I'm not streaming or whatever i can just um move this out of the way completely out of the way and we got the gigantamax pikachu there and let's see what else oh logitech speakers i think that's about it um HyperX, like the really large gaming mat, or the mouse mat. Uh, this desk is still the same desk that I bought this top at Menards for like 20 bucks or something like that. And the cable management, I still don't care, but this black frame I bought off Amazon. And all I did was you just, you just buy the frame and then screw the top onto onto the frame and it's like actually like quite a bit cheaper uh, I think anyways um, the frame I honestly forgot how much the frame was but it, it wasn't very much uh, just for the frame and then you just you just buy the the top itself and then you just DIY it yourself do it yourself um, oh over here I have my headphones the Sure, open back, uh, there's the model right there, which is not focusing, it's the SRH 1840s by Sure. these are really, really nice, like, I've tried a lot of different, um, headphones, if you guys just give me a second, because I don't know why, I just really like to check this kind of stuff out, but this is a Victrix, like, Pro FS. Or no, um, I have the box somewhere, but uh, yeah, uh, Pro Pro AF, sorry, um, headphones. I, I did a video on these, but these are closed back. These sound pretty decent. I still prefer the Shures, and I run it in when I am wearing my headphones. It's going into this JDS Labs amp, uh, which is really nice. And I got my like little notebooks and stuff that I write stuff into all the time. Uh, some computer canned air, hand sanitizer, some note cards, a really loud air horn. I don't even want to do this. That is so loud. It's probably not as loud uh, being picked up on the microphone as it is on my end. But yeah, I think that's it for uh, the gaming setup. Everything like runs like into the PC uh, so if you guys have any questions about like you know getting a gaming setup or like a streaming setup I know I'm like not really in frame right now so I'll try and move that okay um, anyway so if you guys have any questions about like gaming or cameras or anything uh, just ask me in the comment section down below um, yeah, I have like the console and stuff going through the Elgato capture card and then I run it through OBS uh, in the PC and then, you know, you just set up your stream and stuff that way. So it's actually a pretty simple setup. It might look like there's a lot to take in, 
but it's not. It's just PC. Everything's going into the PC. It's coming out of the monitors. And that's really about it. Uh, I used to care so much more about like what exactly everything was, but now I'm just trying to have fun playing games and streaming whenever. Uh, I used to be a lot more serious about streaming, but now it's just casual. It's whatever. Uh, so, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, I'm really excited to play that game. Uh, it had its 1.5 update for like next-gen consoles that came out yesterday, so I'm like really excited to uh, jump in. Um, I was in Colorado when this game launched and it had such a terrible launch. I remember I was out in Colorado, I felt so bad. I was like reading all these headlines about how bad like the game was and everything. And now, what, is it two years later? I, I don't... No, it's a little over a year later. Um, they're fixing a lot of stuff on it. So finally I got it. I haven't played it like at all because I was just being patient and I decided to wait uh, for the game to be a lot more complete. And it sounds like it is. So uh, I have it downloaded. Um, I just went ahead and just bought it. I'm not, uh, right now they're running like a free trial for like five hours if you want to play it and try it. But uh, I've been excited for this game for a while, so like I'm just gonna go ahead and like jump right in. Um, anyways, we're about like at 11.30 right now for time, so, and I'm just kind of rambling at this point. So yeah, really, if you guys have any questions at all about trying to get your own setup, um, like what to start with and like streaming or even like cameras or anything just yeah ask me I am here to talk to you okay so yeah that's it I'll talk to you guys in the next one okay